Hey, welcome to our YouTube channel, Wholesome Sexuality. This ministry was started to provide wholesome assistance, wholesome advice sexually to people all over the world. We just felt that there was too much junk out there, pornography. and Most young people today are learning sex from pornography. Mm, yeah. And that, those are fake. Those are not real. Aberration. Right? Yeah, aberration. Yeah, aberration. <laughs> you know, so um, wholesome sexuality was started as a ministry to help people everywhere because sex is important. Yes. People make sex look as if it's not important, but it's an important, important part yeah. of marriage and an important part of life. Part and parcel of God's design, design. for marriage. none of us will be here if sex is not happening. Yes. <laughs> All yes. right. Yes. None of us will be here if sex is not So yes. even your, your most spiritual, mm. spiritual father, mm. spiritual mm. mother, mm. if they have children, ah, they've they been doing it. sex. <laughs> <laughs> because many Christians are in between praying. Yeah, in between praying. They have time for it. Because many Christians are in some other house. They talk about sex. They have a place I go to see. They try to talk about sex on the, on the altar. Jesus. You have to calm down. You know, all those weird things. But we're here to balance all those things yeah. out. Sex is wholesome, mm. it's beautiful, mm. and God created it. And everything God makes is good mm. and yes. perfect. Mm. Now what the Bible says, mm. every good and perfect gift, James 1.17, mm. every good and perfect gift okay. comes from God. Yes. So, hey, so today um, we have our special in-house consultant, Dr. Dr. Chris Williams Thank in you. the house. Thank you. Thank you. And, um, and um, don't forget, we said that anybody that subscribes, um, we'll get his book. He has a book titled Towards Sexual Satisfaction. He's a medical doctor for many years. Wide experience. All right. He's going to, we have given, the, given out a hundred copies of this book. Um, so just subscribe, then send us a message and everything, and we would send you this book. All right. Doc, what are we talking about today? Yeah, we're talking about impotence. Impotence. Otherwise called erectile dysfunction. dysfunction. And then uh, we'll talk on premature, okay. premature ejaculation. Premature ejaculation. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow, erectile and dysfunction mm. and premature ejaculation. ejaculation. So what is erectile, erectile dysfunction? Yes, it is inability to achieve and or sustain, sustain an erection adequate enough for normal sex. So there's an erection that is not adequate? Uh, yes, yes. Wow. So there's an erection that is just it's standing as if it's not standing. Like half current. Uh, like half current, okay, and all that. So... So you see that the person is not able to achieve it, or he achieves it, and in the middle of the game, the it thing goes. just goes flaccid. Mm. So that's what is called impotence. Define it again. Okay. Define it again. Inability mm -hmm. to achieve, achieve. And, and or sustain, sustain an erection sure. strong and adequate yes. enough wow. for normal sex. Wow. Okay. So that that's a, that's a, a, a erectile dysfunction. Mm -hmm. Now, what are the causes? Age, low, low testosterone, mm. age, low testosterone. Like we said in a previous edition, um, when people are growing old, their testosterone levels are going down, okay? And uh, it gets to some point, especially for people who have abused their bodies mm. through not eating right, right, not exercising right, not living right, right. too much stress, uh, their testosterone has really dropped. So Does when you... having to do with this? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes, uh, I'll get to alcohol. As a matter of fact, before I get to, uh, I continue on the causes, I, I, I want to explain how erection takes place. Good. Four things happen for erection to take place. So a man sees a woman, mm. there's a stimulation in the brain, mm. level one. The stimulation in the brain causes there to be released sex hormones in the blood, mm. level two. Now, level three, the sex hormones cause blood to flush into the penis. Mm. The penis is, a, is like a sponge. You know, uh, when we're little, I don't know what they used to bath babies now. But when we're little, we, we used to have uh, these sponges mm. that we used to bath babies, mm. okay? Uh, like foams, actually. Yes. If you put it in front of a fan, fan will blow it off. Mm. But if you throw it in water and it has soaked water, no fan can blow it. It becomes turgid. Yes. So your penis is actually a bundle of, of uh, blood vessels. We call them um, sinus cavernosum. I think that, that's what we call it. Okay. <laughs> okay, so when there's stimulation and there's a more release in the blood, blood rushes into the penis. And then also that same thing causes nerves around the penis and within it to become sensitized. So four levels, um, uh, a stimulation in the brain, stimulation in the blood, stimulation in the penis, and then the nerve ending stimulated. Now, 
if there is an obstruction oh. at any of oh. these points, mm. it can lead to erectile dysfunction. Mm. So, so some people's erectile dysfunction is they have inadequate brain stimulation. Some people is inadequate release of hormones mm. inside their blood. Some people is because the blood cannot flush into their penis because the penis, the vessels, the arteries taking blood to the penis has been blocked because of cholesterol. Mm. The same exact thing that causes hypertension that how, how that the blood vessels are blocked because of cholesterol buildup mm -hmm. is it cause, is what causes a impotence. Wow. As a matter of fact, when people have um, erectile dysfunction and it is, uh, it is um, established that it is because of blocked flow of blood to the penis, the in medicine we want the person because that may be a sign of oh, an impending yeah, cardiac like arrest. Yeah. Okay? So, that's that. So that's what happens. Now, go back to the causes. We said it, the, um, age, age, low testosterone, and then also, if somebody, too much stress. We said in an earlier episode about stress. Stress also, stress, too much. So um, if somebody is just overworked, they're just uh, overdrawn, mm. it can lead uh, to erectile dysfunction. What other things can lead to er erectile dysfunction? I if somebody has um, issues with their relationship with their wife, mm -hmm. it can lead to... Yes, uh, 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 they, are not, they are not... So it, it, this way, this time around, it's psychological. You remember I said, if something goes wrong at any other yeah, level. Okay. So that first level where the, there's a brain uh, stimulation, the person can't achieve it. The person can achieve it. So these are some of the things that cause erectile uh, dysfunction. Yeah. And then so uh, sloughiness, not exercising well, over stress, not eating right, uh, low testosterone, the person has not been moving like they should move, all this. Yeah, because uh, it's important for people to know there are many things that can cause it because some people just, um, you know, they might think my husband it's doesn't find me some attractive. People some people think, think it's spiritual. spiritual. Yes, yes. Just and then some women will say maybe it's because uh, he's been sleeping, sleeping around. outside. Yes. He doesn't find me attractive, attractive any yes. longer. But, but the, uh, that, that can be part of the psychological. Part, yes, so it's possible, part. but we're just saying it's, it's not, not the only, only one. Yes. So don't it's just jump into that. I know, I'm talking about married woman. I'm setting you free right now. <laughs> I see you right now. <laughs> it's the, it's not the only one. Yes. So low thyroid hormone also. When somebody has low thyroid hormone, it can cause it. And that thyroid, the class carpenter that worked in our house, that they didn't have that thyroid. <laughs> that thyroid is uh, yeah. that, Thy that, the thyroid is a very powerful hormone in the body. body. It, 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 it helps to coordinate several other hormones. Several other hormones. Also, if it is low, there's problem. There's plenty of problem. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, erectile dysfunction. dysfunction. Yes. Okay. Uh. okay. So how do we deal with Okay, why Anything. not let's okay, talk, talk about, about premature first and then yes, we will... Yes, okay, so let's, let's talk about premature. Because this premature, premature uh, ejaculation one is a national yes, problem. National. Because and women use it to insult men. Yes. And women, you need to stop it in yes. the name of... Stop it. They use to insult men. Yes. Two minutes man, yeah. one minute, exactly. ten seconds man. Exactly. You think it's easy? No. no. Normal sex in a... Let's take a 25, 27-year-old young man, yeah. full-bodied. Mm. His body still complete, mm. very charged. Mm. He can do like five to ten. Sometimes, if he's like, uh, if he's the horse type, mm. he can do like fifteen. Or if he's unemployed. Eh, uh, yes, <laughs> you don't get work. <laughs> <You don't get laughs> <one. laughs> yes, he, he can. <laughs> that's the only thing I'm he thinks. <laughs> Our Ministry of Employment. They can tell you. Now, so I said that to say before I explain the meaning of premature ejaculation. Mm. So premature ejaculation is when a man releases too fast, gets to orgasm and discharges too fast for his wife to enjoy sex. So there are three categories. Some are mild, others are moderate, and some are severe. The mild one, between 30 seconds to 60 seconds, the man don't discharge, come out. The moderate, the, uh, the, that's the mild. The moderate one, uh, around uh, less than 30 seconds. 30 seconds or less than that. And then the very severe one, less than 10 seconds. Wow. As a matter of fact, 
uh, in the very severe one, before the man can uh, even enter, Jack Robinson, you don't vomit. Wow. That's the, you, know, you know, that kind of thing, ah, nothing pains a woman even like that. Even the spam cells are disappointed. Yes, everybody is disappointed. He is, he, now, because the man has discharged, this is why masturbation is fulfilling for some people, mm. you know. Uh, you take your penis and your masturbation and you release and you're wondering what are people enjoying inside it. The mere act of discharging and releasing, whether inside a woman's vagina or not, um, satisfies a man to some extent. Severe. But if a man sleeping with his wife discharges in one minute, two minutes, that woman has not even started the journey. Yeah, she hasn't started the journey at all. Because a, it takes a woman, it will take a woman an average of 10, 15, 20 yeah, minutes really to be, get up yeah. to, 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 that's premature ejaculation. Inability to hold or delay discharging uh, before, uh, until the time when the woman would have had enough and when the woman would have reached orgasm. Mm. Now, so let's talk about um, what to do about them. I will talk about uh, premature ejaculation then, because uh, inside it will say some things and then we'll say some other things. In dealing with premature ejaculation, number one, okay, we, what are the causes? I didn't talk about okay. the causes. What are the causes? Low testosterone also can break, and then psychological. And then some people not knowing the importance of satisfying his wife. Mm. He doesn't know. He goes into sex thinking only about himself. He, he does not know the gravity of disappointment it is to a woman that uh, before the, the game starts, it has ended. So that is unskilled. He, they didn't, he has not been taught well about these issues around sex. So it's, it's a factor. Okay, so those are the things. And then also, I said psychological. If he has been abused before, if he has been abattered before, or somebody has made him uh, feel that he's not man enough and all those things, uh, he can cause it. So he's, he's going about psychological pain. Those are the few causes of it. What can be done? It's simple. Number one, understand your sexuality vis-a-vis -vis the sexuality of your wife. The man and the woman are not the same. You, whether you on yourself, by yourself, you discharge. In fact, when you discharge, if you want is sleeping and you ejaculate, it's still almost, it's still somewhat fulfilling. Yes. That's why sleeping, you are not even the one um, masturbating yourself. Mm -hmm. it's, it's still fulfilling. So you understand that the, the height for a man in sexual matters is ejaculation. Oh, yes. Now, you understand that. Understand how it works for your wife. Your wife needs to be helped up. I like what somebody said. He, he said that g getting to orgasm for a man is like a, just, just elevator, pium, and then but for a woman, it's like climbing a mountain or using the stairs, just go like this. It, take, it will take time. You need to understand, understanding it. You can even pray about it. You can begin to ask God about it. You can begin to read about it. And then uh, make up your mind, you will satisfy her. Mm -hmm. Because when you are going into, into sex, who, while the woman is thinking, I want to satisfy my husband, the man okay. should be yeah. thinking, I want to satisfy my wife. Yeah. Okay, so understand her, understand yourself. And then understand the power of the clitoris. God is good. I'm telling you, hallelujah. God gets sense well. well. God is very wise. Sometimes I think about some of the things that God put inside us and say, I think God is a master, master designer. Architect, master, master designer. The clitoris is something else. Now, the clitoris is actually the woman's penis. Mm. Okay, so what happens is in the first, I think, first two weeks or so of life, all babies have penis mm. until the chromosomes of that, of girls, decide this one will be a girl, so the penis begins to shrivel mm. and shrink. Now, the vestiges of that shrunken penis is what is called clitoris. Mm. Now, it will help you understand it. One of the greatest ways you can stimulate a man is to take their glance, that's the cap of the penis, and be stimulating it. Mm. 
There is no man who will not be stimulated. If, a, a, if somebody takes his glance and you, are, you start scro uh, sc um, scrolling it or uh, massaging it. So imagine that the clitoris is also the glance of the woman. Imagine. Uh, so if you are playing with it and massaging it, you take the woman up. You know, we said it's a staircase. In clitoris, clitoral stimulation or clitoral stimulation, you can use it to take a woman about up about 75% of the way. Mm. This is very important. Some men, all they want to do is just enter. No, don't, don't rush. Especially if it's your wife, you are not feeling it. Lock your door well. If you, put, if you want to put both, pull both. Mm. Let nobody you disturb you. Yes, just you, give, you can even roll the table. Put it and uh, make sure it's secure. Well. And <laughs> put a dog in front of that place. Because this is, you must make your wife fulfilled. Mm. Now, so you begin by all the things we have heard about foreplay. At some point, you now take your finger and place it on the clitoris. It's very important. This finger from that point should be on the clitoris till the sexual uh, act finishes. You are massaging it. You are massaging it. Before you do it three or four times, you see the woman begin to answer. She begin to respond. What is she doing? She's climbing. Mm. You know, uh, when we're going to Aladura at that time, uh, there's a way you know when somebody is beginning yeah, to the enter the spirit. <laughs> so, so she's beginning to climb. You have not plan of entering at, at all. all. At you are massaging gently. Don't let it pain her. You are massaging. 95% mm. of women will start lubricating at that point. Mm. And then I say this. At some point, if you are really doing it well, you will hear, enter. Come in. Come in. Enter. Mm. Which is polite. You don't enter somebody's Only house. Only <laughs> <laughs> You don't <laughs> enter somebody's house without invitation. Knock it, yes, you no. knock, then you wait. wait. They say, mm. come in. Then you enter glam uh, uh, glamorously. So on entering, you don't enter full, full, full drive. In, in your imagination, divide the penis into three parts. Mm. First, one minute or two minutes. This is why I say it's skill. I'm yes. talking about the skill part of it now before that. Yes. First what, two minutes or so, be entering with only the first That's one third, mm. and then uh, and then the stroking is not about boom 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 boom. It's not by force. It's by is by strategy. It's not by force. It's strategy. Knowing what to do, you are stroking, and then when you stroke, don't stroke horizontal. She's lying down. You are at top. Mm -hmm. Don't stroke horizontal. Stroke diagonal. That's the word now. That she's here. In such a way that your penis is brushing uh, at clitoris. Very important. If you can even still do it, put, let your finger be doing it and then your penis be doing her own. Now, you, you do that for like two minutes. Watching yourself, when you feel like you are Climbing to release, you come out, continue the clitoris stimulation for maybe another one minute. By this time, your body don't, don't cool okay. down, you don't calm down. And then you go on again, you, 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 you do it again. Before you know it, you can do that up to like five times. Two minutes times five. Ten minutes don't reach. So the, by this time, this woman has really climbed. Mm -hmm. So when you know she's fully satisfied, you now do your normal two, three minutes to wrap it up and it, it, it ends. Mm -hmm. So it's strategy. PK, you won't believe this. Another thing I discovered, very simple but very phenomenally useful to deal with premature ejaculation is use of condoms. Mm -hmm. Now, we have to help some people who think that who associate condom with, with uh, prostitution um, or whatever. Yes. It is not. Uh, it's not only prostitutes or harlots that use condom. Condom is used for several things, okay? Now, if you get condom, some people are say, how will I, what will I tell them when I go and buy condom? I say, you don't have to tell them anything. <laughs> Take your wife, you and your wife. Right. 
go to the stand and be picking and choose and even make fun so that they will know you didn't come to steal to buy it. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can do that. Now, buy two types. The spiked condom, you know, a dish, um, um, boots that we used to play uh, spikes. Uh, uh, spikes, you know, they have uh, like uh, chuk chuk things mm -hmm. and all that. There are condoms that are spiked and there are condoms that are striped. You see lines around them. Uh, buy those two. When you are into this helps. Um, some people have done till they are tired and then they have to quickly remove it and do and, and go home and drive home. So you wear the striped one and then you wear on top of it the spiked one. I'll tell you in a, mom in a mo moment why you are not buying plain condom. One of the reasons some couples can't use condoms is because their wives think they are not feeling their wife, their husband's flesh enough. That's why the people who design condoms design them to be spiked or serrated, be striped. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the, if you buy those two, you have solved that problem. You wear the two, and then you are doing, you are doing. Some couples have done sometimes 30 minutes. Wow. Okay, so when you are tired, she's tired, everybody's tired, you remove it, and then you drive home your three minutes and all that. Pick it. If you wake up in the morning, the woman will prostrate to greet you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, she will. Wow. She will. She will for a job well, excellently well. done last night. Wow. But if it's in one minute, the thing is over. She wake up in the morning. Woman. Mm. Woman. <laughs> she will not feel. So that's what to do. Now, other things to do are also food. All the foods we talked about. Um, in a previous edition about um, uh, the help okay. sex also also come in watermelon cucumber banana um, um, yes we didn't talk about um, bitter cola mm -hmm. bitter cola helps a whole lot okay uh, a, abroad they have a, a variety called go to cola but our own here is bitter cola it helps um, in fact some of our um, our Nat native people have discovered that. That's why you see them, they eat it a lot of bitter cola. cola. So, you, so yeah. if, if I don't see bitter cola, I can buy Coca Cola. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the same color. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Okay, sorry. I thought. <laughs> if, if, if it is not Panadol, <laughs> it, it, it can be Panadol. Okay, okay. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> don't buy. Okay. Leave that one. <laughs> bitter cola, it mm. helps a lot. Okay, so all those other foods. And then the herbs like ginseng also help. Mm. But basically, this is how you handle. So the the, 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 the the issue with the condoms is to help reduce the man's sensitivity. Yes, because yes. it gets sensitive to people. Yes, in fact, that is one of the causes in some people. Some people are just naturally too sensitive. sensitive. If you do them like that this, they will yes, jump off. Uh, they will somersault. Some people, but there are some people who do that. Yeah, they look at what's the problem. So we should avoid those people that don't move. <laughs> avoid them totally. <laughs> 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 exactly. So, the, so ah. condom reduces the stimulation that the man is getting. Uh, so, for that first time, the woman enjoys a whole lot. And uh, while your stimulation is it's not uh, heightened, and then that last time when you remove it. Now, I must say this for people who are uh, waiting on God for children. Mm -hmm. That so, if a woman has twenty-eight days of cycle, mm -hmm. her first nine days eight days she can that's if you remove like the first three days for menstruation mm -hmm. the rest five days or six days she can't get pregnant she's not in a yes, in a pregnancy yes. period yes. so you can use the condom, condom at that, at that point. time so from day 10 to like day 14 do natural that day you know you are not going to last too much yes. uh, you can do your five seven minutes uh, whatever and then um, so and all that and then beyond it from day like 16 till the end again just go ahead and enjoy yes. but, there, but there are people color. that that either react to the rubber the condom mm -hmm. idea they, they, they have been allergic to it somehow or people that feel i'm just still not you know feeling it the condom is not allowing us you know feel my husband is there a way around it but, but that's why I talked about, I, for those people, I suggest you use the spiked ones and use, notice I said spiked and serrated, spiked and, and striped, use the two. 
I would suggest that such people should try these two together. And then they, they, okay. they will But largely, the yeah. mantle should focus on clitoral stimulation. Very important. Beyond the penetration. Beyond, yes. So clitoral stimulation will take a woman up 75% of the way. And then the vaginal uh, penetration will conclude the rest 25%. So patience, self-control. There's no place where we don't need self-control. You know when you, it, it looks like that's for the man and you are climbing too much. You relax. Come out. Start doing other things. Be doing other things. Doing other things. Re re uh, maintain your hand on the clitoris. And then when your body has come down, you go again. You go again. That, that, that's what to do. Mm. Okay. And definitely, we can never overemphasize a good relationship between husband yes, and wife. Yes. That always has an impact. Yes. Something so occurred to me. I said I would speak to it when you were introducing. Uh, some people want to perform sex like they watch in pornography. Mm. Mm. Those things are fake. Yeah. Number one, look at this studio right now. Look at the number of persons yeah, here. Yeah. <coughs> Nobody in his normal senses can do sex, even if it is with your wife, mm -hmm. in the okay. presence of these people. And when they make those films, there are literally hundreds of people standing there. So in that wise, it's not normal. Yeah. So number two, they are on drugs. Yeah. Number three, the, mo the impo most important one, those things are cut and paste. Please. Cut, 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 cut. Yes, so yes, and they're acting, and then they make it look like uh, 30 minutes straight. Yeah. And, uh, uh, and people say, ah, why can't I go mm -hmm. like that? Or the woman say, can't you see that yeah. man will watch? Uh, <laughs> the, yeah. Those things are not normal. Yes, and, yeah. and these are the things mm. people watch, mm. and it now stimulates their mind and, and creates they, an expectation. Uh, that is wrong. Wrong. It yes. can never be met. Yes, that is. So if you are married and you can sustain 15, 20 minutes of sex with your spouse, you have done good. Enjoy it, quality. Make sure you are stimulating her clitoris. Even if she has had a circumcision, the vestiges of the clitoris is still there. Once your finger goes there, the clitoris, it, it's like a, a big nerve. When you are doing it, you see it. In fact, when you, before you start doing it, it will be soft. Initially, when you start, it will be soft. After that, it will be strong, you, it, just like the penis of the man becomes strong. And then um, it's a wonderful experience. Wow. Okay. So um, we've talked about this is. Uh, I have to go on a session of fasting after. I'm telling uh, you. Because uh, <laughs> <laughs> the things you have made me stop <laughs> today. <laughs> I'll use it's the anointing oil to I'm wash my you. tongue. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We've, we've talked about premarital ejaculation. Yes. Oh, the other thing we're talking about was. Uh, erectile dysfunction. Function. Did you talk about how to solve it? Yes. So, so how do you solve erectile dysfunction? Control your life first do a lot of exercising. I said earlier that um, high impact exercises mold some weight at, at the back of your house if you cannot go to a gym. Start lifting weights. Start jogging, not walking. Walking is good exercise, but it's not high impact That's enough. enough. Okay, start jogging, sweat. You will see your testosterone will start coming up. Reduce stress. Okay, if there's a problem in the relationship, repair it. Very important. Go for counseling, go for psychotherapy, whatever therapies that you need. And then the foods we talked about, um, um, we talked about cucumber, we talked about banana, we talked about plantain, we talked about carrots, uh, okay? And then um, a lot of vegetables, eat a lot of vegetables. And then there are different herbs. Now, erectile dysfunction, in erectile dysfunction, it's important to know this. You remember we said one of the causes of erectile dysfunction can be blockade of the, of the blood vessels that take blood to the penis. Now, one of the ways to, to remove all that cholesterol blocking it is taking a supplement. Somebody might need to write it down. L-arginine. L-arginine. A R G I N I N E E L iPhone A R G I N I N E E. Okay, another um, so L arginine is a supplement that releases nitric oxide into our body, mm -hmm. and nitric oxide has a way of cleansing all those cholesterol plaques. So if the blood vessels have been blocked before, by the time you are taking it for a long time. All those uh, plaques blocking it, it will lyse them, it will remove them, and then the place will be free again. You can also buy nitric oxi oxide um, supplements. They are 
on, on sale. Then there's another supplement called DHEA. The name is very dangerous. I will not bother to call the name. Okay, uh, diidoepiandosterone, very dangerous name. DHEA, buy it. It is a precursor for uh, for testosterone. When you when you when you are taking it, it's a raw material for forming testosterone inside the body. Wow, yes. wow. Thank you, Doc. This was amazing. Thank you, Dr. Chris Williams, Thank one you. of our consulting doctors here at Wholesome Sexuality. Um, remember, if you have not subscribed to this YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe, share, like, tell somebody about this page. And we have other pages also that are based on marriage and relationships. Please go follow also, go subscribe, and it'll be a blessing. And if you're not following us on social media, definitely go and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and the rest. And don't forget, for the first 100 people that subscribe after this video, you're going to get Dr. Chris Williams' book, towards sexual satisfaction. It's a good book. All right. God bless you. See you in the next video.